Hi viewers in this presentation we will discuss about the future air navigation system, FANS. The current air traffic management system is experiencing difficulty as air traffic around the world continues to increase. With air traffic predicted to grow at the rate of 5% annually, the industry must find a new air traffic management system that provides greater capacity. One potential solution is a concept called Future Air Navigation System, or FANS. Today FANS is used primarily in the oceanic regions taking advantage of both satellite communication and satellite navigation to effectively create a virtual radar environment for safe passage of aircraft. In 1983, International Civil Aviation Organization established the Special Committee on the Future Air Navigation System. Future Air Navigation System is a concept that was developed by the International Civil Aviation Organization in partnership with Boeing, Airbus, and others in the air transport industry to allow more aircraft to safely and efficiently utilize a given volume of airspace. The fans laid the basis for the industry's future strategy for air traffic management through digital communication navigation surveillance using satellites and data links. Fans play a key role in supporting many of the evolving communication, navigation, surveillance, air traffic management strategies and mandates. The biggest change provided by fans is the way pilot and controllers communicate. In addition to the VHF, HF, or satellite voice, the digital controller pilot data link communications will now become the primary means to communicate. CPDLC is a powerful means to sustain ATC communications in oceanic or remote areas. Ground-to-ground -ground communications are also part of the concept. They serve to link and to coordinate in between different air traffic control service organization and airline operational center. Ground-to-ground -ground communications are ensured by Aeronautical Fixed Telecommunications Network, or Air Traffic Service Interfacility Data Communications. The air-ground data link architecture is made of the following components. The airborne part, with the aircraft's air traffic service unit which is a modular hosting platform that centralizes all data communications of air traffic control and airline operations center and manages the dedicated human-machine interface. The communications networks, which ensure the connection to the ground part through either by satellite or by VHF remote ground stations. Communications service providers like Inmarsat, ARINC, CETA, in addition to the AOC messages, ensure today the routing of ATC messages between the aircraft and the ATC center. FANS-1 is the standard used on Boeing aircraft while the Airbus standard is known as FANS-A. Both are considered first-generation FANS architectures. The first FANS routes made their debut in the Pacific in early 1996 and were originally flown by three airlines with the Boeing 747. These Boeing 747 FANS-1 equipped aircraft use global positioning system satellites and inertial reference systems to fix their position in an onboard flight management system to manage the navigation solution and flow of information. The position of the aircraft is then transmitted through a communications router and sent to air traffic control via either VHF or satellite communication. Today there are over 34 flight information regions and upper information regions around the globe supporting air traffic control surveillance using automatic dependent surveillance addressing and CPDLC providing FANS coverage worldwide. Second generation FANS product known as FANS 2 developed by Boeing Company and FANS B is developed by Airbus. Both FANS 2 and FANS B architectures will be based on the new aeronautical telecommunications network protocol. Aeronautical Telecommunications Network will relieve the slower fans over ACARS network in use today. New, higher-speed CPDLC is currently being tested over the continent of Europe with CMUs running the Aeronautical Telecommunications Network protocol and communicating via higher-speed VDL Mode 2 transceivers. This trial program, called Link 2000, FANS Human Machine Interface, a visual alert, two flashing lighted push-button switches labeled, ATC message, one for captain, one for the first officer, located in the glare shield. The flashing period is one second. An oral alert. A specific phone like, ring. Flight warning computer. Information about abnormal situations. Data link control and display units. ATC menu on each multi-purpose control and display units. 
The benefits offered by fans include reduced fuel burn and flight time through more efficient routing and increased payload capability for takeoff weight limited flights. 1. Reduced separation between airplanes through a satellite data link. Airplanes equipped with fans can transmit automatic surveillance reports with actual position and intent information at least every 1 to 5 minutes. The position is based on the highly accurate global positioning system. Digital data communication between the flight crew and the air traffic controller drastically reduces the possibility of error and allows greatly reduced airplane separations. 2. More efficient route changes Oceanic operations currently are based on weather data that are up to 12 hours old. By using the satellite data link, the latest weather from a variety of weather services is transmitted to the airplane while en route. Flight crews can then use these data to develop optimized flight plans or those plans can be generated on the ground and transmitted to the airplane. Such dynamic rerouting may allow airlines and business jets to consider reducing discretionary fuel, which further reduces fuel burn or allows increased payload. 3. Satellite communication provides a much more reliable link to the ground than current high-frequency radio, which is susceptible to noise and interference. Communication is efficient silent and automatic. 4. No altitude loss when crossing tracks to avoid potential conflict. An airplane that is approaching crossing tracks must be separated by altitude from any traffic on another track. As a result, one of the two airplanes can be forced to operate as much as 4,000 feet below optimum altitude. But if the air traffic controller has timely surveillance data via fans from both airplanes, including projected intent, and the airplanes are able to control their speeds so that they reach crossing points at a given time then altitude separation becomes much less frequent. 5. More direct routings In many cases, current air traffic routings are compromised to take advantage of existing navigation aids and radar coverage resulting in less than optimum routings. Dynamic aircraft route planning and user preferred routings are available for fans equipped airplanes. Taking advantage of space-based communication, Navigation and surveillance allows more direct routes. With fans on board, operators can benefit from reduced fuel burn and flight time as well as increased payload capacity for takeoff weight limited flights. As a result, costs associated with crew and engine maintenance can be reduced.